Hey, John, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Bobby, give me a sec. Hey, Bobby. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, you too. What happened? Uh, me and Ralphie were out there yesterday. Got the nets hung up on something on the bottom. Whatever it was was big. We pulled them up and tore them to shreds. They got to be replaced. I can't fix them. You sure they got to be replaced? That Absolutely. bad? Absolutely. Huh? All right. Anything else get damaged? Just my wallet. Lost the nets in a day's catch. <laughs> well, we can't put your wallet on here. I would if I could. We can put the catch on here, though. Thank You're covered you. for that. You got that covered, so. Good, good. All right, good deal. Well, uh, let's have Ralphie wrap those nets up and bring them by the shop. You know they're going to want to look at them. Yeah, the sooner you do it, the better, so we can get you a new one. All right, buddy? You know I got you taken care of. I'll get them down there within the hour. All right, John. You know I got you covered, buddy. Bobby, you're the best. Thanks, John. Hey, Bobby. How you doing? You know, I'm, uh... We're good. We're taking it day by day, you know? Good. You have a girlfriend? No, 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 uh, Pepper and I. Oh, the little one. Yeah, yeah. Is she with you? No, she's, um, we have an appointment with Dr. Spinalzo, and, um, you know, Tina, she's been homeschooling her since the accident, so. Tina's good people. Yeah, she is. I don't know, uh, I don't know what we'd have done without her. Bobby, things will work out for you. I have faith, buddy. Thanks, John. Thanks a lot. Good Appreciate seeing you. It. You too. Hey, Ralphie, let's get these nets wrapped up down to Bob's office and clean this deck. It's a hell hole. just about time. It's been three years, and honestly, at this point, it's not healthy. I know. Well, that's the problem. I don't know if you do know. Look, I try, but there's always something there to remind me. You just have to let go. Some things just... Not that easy to let go of. I get where Mrs. Spinoso is coming from, and I think I can take it from here. You see, Bob, not all reminders are about things lost. Some are about things gained. Agreed. So what do you say, Bob? Let's get to letting go. I say we start with a bit of fishing. Bob? Fishing's a, a good start. There you go. I dust off the old pole and the tackle box. Go relax for a bit. Think about what we said here today. Well, fishing was her idea. <laughs> OK. It was a great idea, no matter who it came from. Yeah. So I'll see you in two weeks. Well, two weeks? Yeah. Well, are you going on vacation or something? No. No. Pepper and I have talked, and, and we think you're making great progress. And if you can get over this last hurdle, well, new beginnings are just around the corner. Hurdle? New beginnings? Mm -hmm. Just roll with it, Bob. I got you covered. Just roll with it. Don't forget my jacket, Bob. Guess I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. So I think Mrs. Splin also made a good point today. Yeah, what was that? That some things are reminders of things gained. I agree, that made sense. Good, because as soon as we get home, we are going to start cleaning up some of the things that remind you of things lost, and we are going to move on with things gained. No, oh, but I just don't. No buts. I already called Tina and asked her to get us some boxes. Oh, Pepper, honey. Too late. So you called Tina? I guess that's what the good doc was referring to when she said she spoke to you earlier. You called her too? You know, I 
can't believe you. you let me talk you into a, buying you a cell phone. <laughs> Directory assistance is included in our plan, so I use it as needed. Tina said texting is a good way for me to get a jump on my spelling. Uh, OMG and, and, and BFF are not words. Hey, hey, Joe. Now, honestly, I don't know who babysits who when I leave the two of you alone. What you need is another good date. That's funny. I don't remember the last one. That nice girl you went to the theater with last week. No, honey, she's just a friend. A friend from work. It was a date, right? Well, not really. Tina said it was a date. Her and her friends say that's what you need, a date or two, to get you back on your feet. That's what people are saying? Well, that's what Tina says, and I think she might be right. So you agree? It's OK. Tina says that Mommy would be happy if she knew that you were happy. And I would be happy, too. You know, you think a lot. And you ask a lot of questions lately. Tina said the best way to learn is to ask questions. You know what, honey, they're right. Mommy would want what's best for both of us. Don't forget my jacket. Let me ask you a question. Shoot. When are you going to start calling me dad again? When it's cool. And it is not cool at the moment, Bob. Uh, fair enough. What about Tina? What about Tina? She's nice. Her and I have a lot of fun together. And, well, you like her. Well, yeah. I mean, she's my friend. She has a crush on you. Oh, honey, no. No, she was our neighbor's wife. and. Well, there's this man code thing, and well, that's a cardinal rule. Plus, she's, know, she's so much younger than me. Cosmopolitan says that girls like older men because of their advanced maturity. The girl's maturity, that is. Plus, it gives them a sense of security and... Cosmopolitan? But since when do you read Cosmopolitan? It's Tina's favorite magazine. I read it to her while she's painting my nails. Ugh. That so-called friend of yours, Tina's ex, the best thing she did was close the door on that hot mess. Well, he wasn't a real friend, and did Tina tell you all this? She didn't have to. I overheard her talking to Carrie on the phone. I was doing my homework, and then when I went to go show Tina my paper, she was already in deep conversation. I didn't want to disturb her. She needed to let it out. So basically, you eavesdropped. I wouldn't say that exactly. I just happened to be in need of her assistance. So instead of interrupting, my good manners prevailed. Well, honey, yeah, of course she's my friend and everything. And sure, Mike made a few mistakes, but you know, why am I telling you this? Just let it out, Bob. Oh, it's a man code thing. And look at me. I mean, I, I got moves like Jagger. and I don't know. I just, honestly, I. I don't know how much Lady Gaga I could possibly take. Lady Gaga is the new Madonna. You liked Madonna, right? Don't tell me, Cosmopolitan? Vogue. Vogue. She's like family to us. She's like a sister to me. A younger sister. Fine. Then maybe she can help. With what? Finding you a date. No. Honey, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. OK, so that's a yes? If it makes you happy. I love you, Bob. I love you, too, Pepper. I love you, too. Put your seatbelt on, will you?
How was fishing? It was great. Bob and me had some quality time. She's a, she's a pistol. Yeah, that she is. I have to take her to dance class. Oh, we forgot all about dance class. We didn't. What about cleaning up all the memories? We figured it would be best if you did a lot of it on your own. So we'll check on your status when we get back. Oh. So you two had this planned all along? Kind of, well, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I, 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 I don't want to put you out of your way. I'll take her to dance class. No. I love going. Plus, I could go for a cup of coffee. There's a Starbucks right next door. Please, Bob. If it makes you happy, honey. Be over in a bit. We've got a lot to discuss. Pepper, really? It's OK. I've got this. Look, I'll, I'm sorry. For what? For Pepper and all of her, her wild ideas and thoughts. Well, she keeps me entertained. She's cheaper than cable and gets me out of the house. OK. If she gets to be too much, let me know, OK? Yeah, well, I don't think that's going to happen, though. <laughs> Ready. Hey, give her a chance, will you? Love you, Bob. Love you. She is on a mission. Look at her go. <laughs> I guess I should go. Hey, I'm on the way back. Maybe you could, um, I don't know, like, uh, just text, and I'll get her dinner ready. Cantina, eat with us. Would you like to eat dinner with us again? Yeah, I'll text. OK. OK. Thanks for dinner. I do love diner nuggets and mac and cheese. You know, I'd say that was Pepper's menu, but, um, you know I'd be lying. <laughs> We've got to go. You're not just throwing things out. Tina's just storing them, I would say, out of mind. I promise I'll put them in a safe place. Nothing bad's going to happen to them. Out of sight, out of mind. I know. You're right. Good night, Tina. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks again for dinner. Anytime. You know that. Oh, I may have left the computer on in Pepper's room. I was on it earlier when I was cleaning up. Oh, that's no problem. I'll, I'll turn it off. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. What you doing? Oh, hey, honey. I was, um, I forgot this. It's, uh, it's a wreath. It's made from the flowers from the day your mother and I were married. It actually, well, it reminds me of her more than anything. You gonna throw it away? No, no. Oh, oh, no, no, I, I, I couldn't find a, a box big enough, so I figured, I figured the bag would work. You know, we, um, we want you to have it someday. And it's pretty. Yeah. So was she that day. So what made you know she was the one? Well, actually, I, I met her in, I met her in college. We were, um, we were doing a play together. The name of the show was Arsenic and Old Lace. What's arsenic? Oh, well, it's a poison. It's it's also a movie. We could we could rent it one night or something. I think you're old enough to get it. It's probably on Netflix. 
that's true. So what made you know she was the one? Well, we were, we were, we were at rehearsal one night. She was sitting in the back of the house. She was dressed like a, a guy from the 40s. It was part of the show, you know? And um, she had the page boy hat. She was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And, uh, well, one thing led to another, and uh, here I am. Here I am with the best thing we ever did together. Every day, every day I wish she was here. Not, not for me for you, and so she can see the, the best thing we ever did together. You and so much more. She knows, Daddy. She knows. <laughs> I know, babe. Okay. Okay. I'm done. It's time to move on with things gained, right? I agree. You just called me daddy again. Yeah. Don't get used to it. Get your butt up to bed. I gotta put this wreath away and feed the dog. Sounds like a plan. Good night, Bob. Good night, baby. I got a bad feeling about this. Is your little girlfriend fell asleep? Yeah, she's, uh, she's out like a light. I guess a few dates couldn't hurt. Hey, Mr. Bob. Hey. Hey, Little Ray. Hey, Sin. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. 
How's your parents? They're good. That's nice. Yeah. Can I go play now? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. My parents are doing good. They're nice. Yeah. It's Pepper's jacket. You know we gotta take it wherever we go. It could be 100 degrees out, and she still wants this jacket. Somehow it, it always ends up in my hands. You're a good dad. Is something else on your mind? Yeah. They got me one of these internet web dating things, and a first date tonight. I just don't know. I think you'll do just fine. It's been so long. Hey, sweetie. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Thanks. Ray! I'm sorry. Only God knows what he has. Huh. Ray! Cute kid. Yeah. Did you clean your room? Bob, you know I did. Look, I don't know about all this. Just relax and go with it. You've got a bunch of dates this week. Bunch? How many's a bunch? Eh, like ten. But they're all gonna be at the lobster house, so you'll be comfortable. <sighs> yeah. well, can we space them out a little bit? Tina said there's no time like the present. Yep, blue is your color. Your lovely lady awaits, handsome. your hands when you came back from that men's room? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm just picking up mom. And these crabs is good. You know I'm gonna eat this, right? And you're not getting some either. It's just so nice to meet someone who's real. There are so many people out there who pretend to be what they're not. Do you know the last guy did actually wore to pay? You gotta learn to walk before you can run, Bob. Let's get you ready for bed. You've got a big day tomorrow with a really cute girl that works at the zoo. A zoo? Did you even look at any of these people's profiles? Of course, and I told you you had a lot of dates. Well, well, maybe you need glasses. Or maybe you need to figure out who I am. I mean, from the, the crazy cat girl to the one that ate my food, and now this, some, some animal whisperer. You know what, I'm through. This, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 
Honestly, I, I thought I knew you. I, I, I thought you were like, like part of this family. Did you say you're sorry? Don't, don't be sorry, you didn't do anything wrong. As a matter of fact, you opened up my eyes. Daddy, it's not what you think. Baby, it's exactly what I think. Baby, I... I love you. I love you more than anything in the world. I know you're not my family anymore. You are family. You just called me daddy again. I know. I have to go now. I know. It's time, daddy. I know, baby. I'll be right here. Yes, put in the box, box. Hey. Yeah. You are. Uh... 